they're just not tapping and they can escape. So we're not only going to have a look at turning tonight's technique into our bow and arrow, but we're also going to have a look at some bow and arrow best practice that most people don't do. So if you don't know bow and arrow tonight, you'll get a basic great course in it, but if you do know it, we're going to try to take it further. Okay, so I will borrow a mat if I may. So, I can enter this the same way as I did before, alright, for all my roll, but for tonight to be easy, we'll just get mat lying here, head and feet. So, flick around the other way. Good man. Alright, so, we can pretend we got here however way we like, alright, but we're here and I've reached around, I've turned the collar, I've grabbed mat, but like, I just don't think I can finish this guy. Maybe I just don't have the, the chance to finish. Like, maybe I've only got a few seconds and I really need to make it count. I can't afford that he might not tap. So, after a while, as you guys know in Jiu-Jitsu, you just get a feel. You lock on an under, a choke, uh, anything, and you go, I've got this. And sometimes you know you don't. It looks exactly the same. You wouldn't know what's the difference, but you go, I've got this, or there's no way I'm finishing this. So, I pass the collar and I grab it from here. This is great because, see, if I was on Matt's back, he would be policing his collars like crazy. But because I'm here in side control, this underhook is very easy to get, and getting to here is great, because what it does is in the gi is gonna give you your choking opportunity and tremendous control, but if you get used to this in your muscle memory, then no gi, really all we have is our cross face, you're gonna start cross facing people, because you have to cross face them. As I reach around, I have to cross face. Unless I had 10 feet long arms, I have to cross face it. So come time when it heats up in summer a bit more, guys, you'll find this will still reap dividends for you. So I'm here, I turn the collar and I grab and uh, I just think, oh my God, I just can't do it. I need more power. So this could be because my grip sucks. He's super tough. Or maybe he's just gripping at my hand with two hands. Like, see like this? And uh, the other hand, the choking. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going, I just don't think I can finish this guy. He's too tough. All right, so this is what I want you guys to do. Your left hand is gonna come down here near his hip, and I'm gonna pull my elbow as I walk my hips towards his hips, like this. It's very important that you walk towards his hips when you do this, guys, okay? This is the big tip that I see a lot of people not doing. Also, make sure you've cleared the way with your hand first. Don't be one of those suckers who goes to step over, gets caught, and now you lose everything, all right? So what I want you guys to do is lock his hips and move towards his hips. That means that my right elbow can clamp down and he can't do the easy escape, which is to loop under my head, right? And uh, yeah, head out this way. That's his escape. So if I stay up here, Matt can do that very easy. Very easy. Once I start coming around here and I keep my elbow down, he goes to do that escape, there's just no room. There's no gap. But see right here, there's a gap. So, I block his hip and I run to the hip. I am now going to step over upstream of my hand. Okay, when I say upstream, I'm talking towards Matt. Okay, towards his head. So if my left hand is here, it wouldn't, it would be close to his hip. My right, my left foot is gonna come over. Depending on your flexibility, you might have to relinquish control. For me, it's no big deal, right? I can just do it. I am flexible like that. If you're not though, you might have to let that go. Okay, it's up to you. I, I care more about the foot placement than having the crossover, but that is best, because that means you've got a placeholder. There was never a gap, okay? Like two security guards, like one clocks, clocks off at 10 and 10.30, the next one starts, you just commit your crime at 10 to 10.30. Simple, right? So we want to prevent that, right? We want to put a bit of crossover. I'm sure security and police do this. So I'm here, I come around, and I step over. Now, once I've stepped over, I can grab his thigh like this, but if that was out of reach, or maybe you weren't gonna get a good grip. Like if you had short arms and you were doing a suggestion and you grab his thigh, you're like, you're not gonna grab anywhere near around that thing. He's gonna kick his leg free, so you're probably better off grabbing the pants. Now, if you've got long arms, you can grab at the knee, because when I go for my, uh, my bow and arrow in a second, if he kicks his leg, right, see how my arm can cop that? Because it's long enough. But now you imagine if I was doing this and I was Kirsty and I was a foot shorter than whatever, six foot four or whatever I am, well then, like, he's gonna kick and like, I'm gonna lose the grip. 
So, for you, for instance, Kirsty, if you're doing this to me and I had really long legs, just don't grip with your full, don't never straighten your arm. Grip with a bent arm. So then when he straightens his leg, it's no problem. But if I even grip down here and he kicks, he'll kick my grip right away, okay? So just always make sure you keep your arm bent when you grip, okay? And if you go under the leg, you better make sure you can keep a bent arm. If you just go like this, he'll kick right out, okay? So once I'm here like this, I grip, and now I'm going to sit back. But very important, guys, is what I'm gonna do with my right foot. So, I'm gonna bring it to the mat and I'm gonna sit down so it's not underneath him. See how I circled it out? It's not underneath him like this, right? That's gonna screw me up. So I keep it out. And now watch, this is the big thing. I'm gonna put it on his armpit. Don't just, it, defend with your hands, Matt. Don't just clap it on here, this is not doing enough. Get your heel onto his shoulder, right in his armpit. Okay, and then if necessary, it'll slide and hook in. But if he keeps his elbows and hands tight up on my hand here, grab my hand, like this, this will always go in. And you can always get power. But if I do this, it's not really adding much. Okay, so heel on the armpit, right? And if you can, it will slide in and be awesome. And then I'm gonna bring myself here. Notice how I'm keeping crunched. I'm not leaning away, okay? I'm gonna keep crunched. And then I simply do the same row here, okay? But if my hand goes into here, my heel goes into here, like this, I've got even more control because if he starts getting his head out, I have his arm, okay? And I can finish. So let's look at this, our best practice bow and arrow. I've got here from Matt from either the roll entry or side control. I'm just here on Matt. I open up his gi, I've got it, all right? I might try to go for the finish, I can't finish. Okay, my hand goes to his hip and I run around. Okay, I turn him all the way on his side. I'm now gonna step over my own hand if I've got the flexibility. I now am going to reach back and I'm gonna grab his pants. My right foot's gonna come out and I'm gonna sit nice and tight. My right heel comes onto his shoulder. Okay, and now I can go for my finish. All right, if you watch, I'm not gonna move my hand, I'll tighten up my hand and just push his shoulder. All right, see that? So if I just clamp, Matt's not tapping. Right, nearly did. See that? He nearly did. Oh, I'm not meant to. Better not tap. Right, see he's not tapping? Watch, on the shoulder. Okay, because I move his whole body. See, this is holding him. I've held him already. This is going to take his shoulder over there. Okay, so it's tightened up. Alright, so one time at speed. I'm here, and I have Matt, and I get that collar. I try to finish, I can't. I, gra I grab his mat down, mat down here, and I run. Hip to hip, real heavy. <coughs> I'm now gonna step over. All right, I've stepped over, I grab his leg. I get my right leg out, and I sit. And now, on his shoulder. And finish. Don't lean back with a straight arm, you get out. Right, duck on. Right, and now all you've got is the arm bar. All right, so let's do this with our partners. If you wanna practice from the belt grab roll, please. I love that. But if not, just practice from side control. This is our best practice bow and arrow. Remember the tips. If you haven't heard them before, apply them tonight. Got it? Let's go. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.